We are now going to go back to working with absolute values. So I want to re quickly review that the absolute value refers to the distance of something from zero. So when we take a look at this, this is saying that the distance of a number from zero is bigger than four. In other words, it's farther than four units away from zero. And our, our first task is to graph those. So here's zero, and then we have one, two, three, four. We are farther away from zero than four, so that would be all numbers to this side of four, everything farther away. We have a second option, however, on this side, one, two, three, four, so that would be negative four. Everything that's past negative four is also farther away than four from zero. So we can take a look, we see we have numbers over here on the left-hand side that are farther away than four, and no numbers over here on the right-hand side that are farther away than four, and then the numbers in between those do not work. Well, we saw these with our compound inequalities. We can write a compound inequality for this using the phrase or. So that would be x is less than negative four, or x is greater than positive four. This is going to be able to make our life easier when we're tasked with solving inequalities, which we'll do in a minute. So we are going to picture these two things and separate them into the two inequalities so we can work with them. Let's take a look at this. Our absolute value of this number this time is not bigger than four, but less than four. So the distance from zero is less than four. So that picture is very similar. Here we have four, but our numbers need to be closer than that to zero. So that would be the numbers over between zero and here. And then on the other side, same thing. If we're farther away from four, we're on that side. But if we're closer than four, we're over here on this side. So that would be everything in between negative four and positive four. Well, this one we've seen as well. We needed the word and because we had the two inequalities going this way and then the second one going this way. So that would be this top one, uh, our y is greater than negative four. The bottom one is our y is less than positive four. And the word that got us to keep where they overlap and throw out the area where they go past is and. So the phrase on this one is and. Okay, here our numbers need to be farther away than two, but the difference on this one is they can be equal to two as well. So that would be one, two here. We need to be farther away or equal to, that would be shaded to the right. And then over here at negative two, that's two units away and shaded off to the left. So everything here and here is farther away than two or equal to two. So that would be our s is our variable. s is less than or equal to negative two. That gets us this area. S is greater than or equal to positive two. That gets us this area. And the word that connects those two and allows us to keep both of them is or. So this is again an or statement. All right, this one right here, our distance has to be less than or equal to negative two. Distances are always positive. We talked about this before. Absolute values cannot be negative. So there is no way that this absolute value can be smaller than negative two. There is no solution and no graph. If I was to turn this around and say, where is our distance of a number greater than negative two? Well, that's all numbers. Every single number has a distance greater than negative two, even if it's zero. So this would be all, all real numbers on that one. So we'll see potentially those two situations when we are solving our inequalities. All right, so let's take a look at this. Now you'll notice that we have something other than just a variable in here, so we're going to have to solve it. I'm going to erase this for a second. So we have a d plus nine, but I'm going to ignore that and just pretend that there is a box there so I can set up the two inequalities. Well, the possibilities for this, whatever's in here needs to be farther away from zero than three. So here's positive three. Farther away would be over to the right or negative three farther away than that would be over to the left. So we've got a situation that's connected by or. So whatever's in here, our first scenario needs to be less than negative three. That's our first possibility. Our second possibility, whatever's in there, could be greater than positive three. And I set up this situation 
ignoring all the details in here for just a moment. All right, now we go back to our original problem though. That was D plus nine. And that gives us our full inequalities that we have to solve. So this D plus nine needs to be less than negative three. Our second option is D plus nine needs to be greater than three. And the word that connects them is or. So we're gonna solve these two by subtracting by nine. That would give us D is less than negative 12. Subtract nine on this one. That would give us D is greater than negative six. The word that connects them is or. Okay, now you'll notice that this graph is different than our original. So this original graph is not our solutions. We're supposed to be graphing the solutions. This just helped us to set these up so we could find our solutions. So at this point, I'm going to erase this. I do not need it any longer, and I'm going to graph the actual solutions, which would be D is less than negative 12, open circle at negative 12 and shaded to the left. D is greater than negative six would be an open circle at negative six and shaded to the right. Okay, let's set this one up right here. Let's picture this. Again, I'm going to pretend there's nothing there. I'm not gonna erase it this time, but I'm just gonna picture this needs to be less than five away from zero. So here's positive five, here's negative five. That to be closer than five, we have an open circle and we're going towards the zero, open circle and we're going towards the zero. So that gives me again, two inequalities, one, that is greater than negative five, and our second one that is less than positive five. Okay, now we can set this. This has to be greater than negative five, so the nine minus four n needs to be greater than negative five. That's this graph right here. Our second option, this nine minus four n, has to be less than positive five, and the word that keeps this where they overlap is and, so again, we're gonna solve both of these. We're gonna connect them with the word and. So let's subtract nine. That gives us negative four n is greater than negative 14. Divide by negative four. Remember to flip the symbol, that gives us n is less than negative seven, or sorry, negative divided by negative is positive. So positive seven halves. Uh, we could write that as 3.5, if that's easier for you to find on a number line. Subtract nine on this one to solve. We get negative four n is less than negative four. Divide by negative four. And again, remember to flip the symbol. So that would be n is greater than, that would be negative divided by negative. So that would be positive one. All right, let's graph that. So again, our graph right here is finished. We use that to set it up, but these are not our solutions. So I'm gonna erase this and graph it up there, the actual solutions. So n is less than 3.5. Here's three, here's four, 3.5 is there. Open circle, n is greater than one, or sorry, didn't finish shading. We're shading to the left. n is greater than one. Open circle, we're shading to the right. The word that connects them is and, so we're going to keep the areas where they overlap. That would be right here, in between positive one and positive four.